and there's a semi coming up, but FSD does a good job holding the center lane, like, you know, going straight over the, the yellow line. And then as soon as it clears, it look, easy. I don't have to do nothing here. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Got a little different drive today, different routing. Leaving home, I'm actually going to, you know, the, to the uniform store. Go pick me up a jacket. It's kind of cold outside and, you know, winter weathers on these buses, they're brutal when you're sitting by the window. That being said, we're out. So we got a 20 minute ride, pretty straightforward. Riding FSD software, 14.2.1, which introduces try mode. Uh, autopilot self-driving status, meaning the amount of miles, I mean, <clears throat> it shows you the amount of miles driven on full self-driving versus actual, you know, manual driving. Which so far I'm at 98% on full self-driving. So pretty much we drove a total of, okay, I thought, oh, road closed right there, FSD rerouted. That's nice. Because I was looking at the lady, I thought that was, that's why FSD slowed down. But it was, and also it was gonna make a left-hand turn, but because the road is closed, it just continued and then reroute to the next turn off up here. But yeah, as, as I was saying, total miles driven on 14.2.1 is 487.2 miles. And just for self-driving alone, covered 478.9 miles, basically 479 miles. So probably like six or seven miles of me actual driving. And it's, it's usually last minute at the end of, you know, end of the destination takeovers. And you know, you got to park in a, you got a designated parking area you want to park in. You take over and you just put, drive the car to where you wanted to park. But what I like though, that I see that's coming in the, <clears throat> I guess isn't the, uh, the holiday update? Where you actually, like when you go to a supercharger, you can actually see what stars are open or whatever. And you can always select, it'll show you what stars are open, what stars are broken. And it'll highlight ones that you can just pull right into when you get to the destination. If you don't have a gas car parking in there, of course, because if there's a gas car parked in there, it's not gonna show it until it gets get into the parking area or the, uh, into the uh, charging area, then it can actually visually see. But based on computer data and, you know, actual live data, I should say, of what FSD, uh, you know, depends on the occupancy of the supercharger, it'll reflect on the app and it can show you what's open. So I kind of like that feature. I'm actually looking forward uh, for the Grok integration where you, you actually tell it to go to different destinations. But usually I just put in one destination at a time when I drive. So, I mean, it really doesn't matter to me, but I can I can give it a try, you know, just to see when it comes in the newest holiday update. <clears throat> because that's, I think that's the biggest thing that I'm looking for is the, the simplicity of actually talking to Grok and telling, telling it to take me to such and such, and then take me to such and such. It's just the simplicity of, you don't have to actually sit here and pull up the GPS and type in what you gotta do. Even though right now you can actually do the same thing with the regular in-app map, but you can only tell it to do one thing. Like you can say, navigate to 1423 West Main Street in Philadelphia. And it will open up and navigate you to 1423 West Main Street. But if you say, and then add this stop and this stop, it's not gonna be able to do that. It, it's only gonna do one stop. Also, what I've noticed on, that, on, on the current version, if you, if, if you hit the button and try to talk, you know, tell it to navigate to say Wawa, it's gonna bring up all the Wawa's in the neighborhood, but it's not gonna it's not gonna uh, select 
the one that you, like the closest one because I'll say select the closest Wawa and navigate there. But FSD won't do that. It'll just bring up well the map. The map won't do that. It'll just bring up all the Wawas and then you just got to figure out which one you want to go to. Which I'm not mad that I got to select the one I want to go to, but if it can be simplified to, to we just click one button and tell the car to navigate to the closest Wawa and the car instantly, you know, searches for the closest Wawa and not giving you the whole breakdown of like six, seven, eight different Wawas to go through for you to choose from. It's simplicity. It's basically making your life easier when it comes down to funneling with the screen because the less screen time that you have is more time for you to pay attention to the road. Which leads up to the next thing that's I've noticed on FSD. So on 14.2.1, I can play around in my phone. I can play around on the screen. And I can fumble around in the car for a nice little bit, uh, bit before the car actually nags me and tells me I need to pay attention. And the funny thing is, as soon as I, if I'm not paying attention, as soon as I look up, uh, so FSD did a good job waiting on his turn in this, round, in this roundabout right here. Because if it was me, I would probably would have gunned it and went through. <clears throat> but just having the simplicity do good job now coming to a stop now these are person up here there it saw it again it saw him again so basically what it did it saw the person on the sidewalk and it drove up to where the person is supposed to be approaching out from the from between the cars from and then it slows down when it, as soon as it get there because it is not sure what the person is going to do. So I like that. All right, so we can't we can't really see from the left of us too much, so we got to depend on the right to wait for it to clear then and creep up. And then you see a car coming. There's another car coming. So okay, so maybe it'll be able to be able to see the cars coming now. It it, it moves up just a little bit. Let's see. We're clear from the left now, but then we got cars coming from the right. <laughs> That's how it always happens, though. Not in a rush. Okay, so this Mercedes should be the last one, and then FSD should try to take it, which they did not. And then we got another car coming here, and then we should be able to take it. All right, there we go. <clears throat> So it's patient, even though it's actually in hurry mode at, this, at the moment. I would have took it, but I'm letting the car do its thing. It's doing it in a safe manner, and I'm not, I'm not in a rush to go anywhere. So I'm ready dressed for work, but I don't have to be at work until 2.45, actually, p.m. It's 12.30 right now, so I'm doing my little, my little drives that I have to take care of. You know, my little issues, that, my little errands, I should say, that I got to run. Taking care of those right now. And then by the time all that's done, it's work time. Great job coming to a stop. And guys, it's in hurry mode, but it's just, it's just cruising. It's not, it's not, I guess it's local traffic. So it's taking its time, complete stop. <clears throat> I was waiting for the car behind me to start honking. Car right there making a left hand turn with me. All right, so we got a street sweeper up here to the right. Complete stop. <clears throat> and Let's see if FSD go around, which is doing a good job. It, you automatically see it's a work vehicle, and it wins around it. Even though it shows up on the uh, on the on the display as a uh, work truck, I mean a back uh, semi truck. All right, so we got uh, 10 minutes left to go on this ride. 
three miles to be exact. And we're getting ready to make a right on McDade Boulevard. <clears throat> okay, come to a complete stop. You gotta check the right and the left to make sure it's well the left to make sure it's clear. Ray light up there, easy, easy merge onto the crossroad. Now back to the hurry mode. Even though I'm I'm in hurry mode, the aggression that was in 14.1 and previous version is not there no more. Because <clears throat> if I was in hurry mode, FSD would have actually, is, the speed limit here is 35. It's actually being real modest and doing 439 on this road. In the, pre, in, in the prior versions, it probably, be a, it probably would be hitting around like 43, 45 miles an hour in hurry mode. And if you're hit mad max, you're looking about, in a 35, you're looking at least like 20 over. So that's almost 50, 50, 55 miles an hour it's doing in prior versions. But with the current 14.2.1, it's been, it's been regressed quite a bit. So hurry will cap out around 39, 40. Mad Max will cap out around maybe like 30, uh, 45. I guess it base, it's based off of the, uh, the speed limit. It's basically all speed limit based at this point. Usually I'm thinking it's going off of the percentage or they just cap it at a certain point. Up to a certain, it goes by a percentage up to a certain point. That's what it used to do in the prior versions. But in this current version, on local streets, at, at least I've seen so far, it's, it's been set to a specific number. Like for, for a sloth, if its speed limit is 35, it's 35 and below. For chill, it might say, it might hit 37, 38, the most, I'll give it. In standard, it may hit 40 to 42. It's kind of like that. And I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not, it's not bad. But when you're on the expressway driving and the car is in standard and the speed limit is 55 and it's doing, say, 57, everyone is just zooming past you. Even if it's, the fifth speed limit is 50 and you're doing 55, 90% of the people on the road are doing like 65, 70 easily on the highway. Easy. All right, so it's doing speed limit is 35, it's doing 38. So it's trying to get in the left lane, it keep putting on the turn signal every so often and turn it back off because in 2000 feet, we actually are making a left hand turn. But I guess it's trying to get over, but then when you notice that there's a car in the blind spot, it turns it back off. All right, so let's, let's see. See, we just did it again, and then it did it again. But now this time it's actually confirming that it's getting over. <clears throat> we're making a left at this uh, traffic light that's coming up. Good job pulling up into the intersection. Complete stop, down to zero. Like those wheels on that Nissan Maxima. It's 
So it does have a, 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 a end destination. It, it is a parking lot that we're putting into. And it has it selected as such on here. So we're going to see how it pulls up. Maybe there's, it's, it's not a big parking lot. You probably can only put park, park maybe three or four cars in there at one time. But that place is not usually that busy. So we'll see how great of a job it does. It's just a, literally just a pull in and park type situation. So yeah, I was saying earlier about uh, the new feature that, not that's in version 14.2 where you can actually you know be on your cell phone for a few minutes, uh, for, uh, for a few seconds, and FSD won't really nag you about taking over. Like we're coming up here to a construction area right now, and FSD has to you know straddle the yellow line just enough. And there's a semi coming up, but FSD does a good job holding the center lane, like, you know, going straight over the, the yellow line. And then as soon as it clears, it look, easy. I don't have to do nothing here. All right, so we did a great job going across Hook Road. And there's something I just found out uh, two days ago, guys. Like, I guess if you have certain issue with FS, with, with the car or whatever, all you have to do is just press and hold the, the car icon, and then you let go. It says, thank you for your feedback. It says, if service is required, schedule it in the mobile app. I don't know what that does. If that replaces the, for everyone out, you know, that's not beta, that, that's not beta testers. If that replaces the, the little recording, you know, video camera icon that pops up up top, but if that's the case, <laughs> that's something, there's a little Easter egg that I, I didn't know about. So if anyone else know about that, you know, uh, feel free to let me know in the comment if what it's used, what it's for, because I don't know the significance for it. All right, so we come to the stop and we're going to cross, we're going to come to a stop here and then we're going to cross over this intersection and then this first driveway is where we are. And there's one car there, so let's see. Is FSD going to park beside it or is it just going to park? Okay, temporary store hours 10 to 4. Okay, well, bam. Great job. FSD puts itself in park. There we go. And that was a complete drive end to end with no, dis no, no interventions, no disengagements. And thank you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.